I have an uncle, his name Jerry Daniels. Uh, he's a sheriff both in Parkton. Uh, and that's the one that's sent to the Tennessee Walkers because most of the horses that are here are quarter horse, except for two. I have two Tennessee Walkers here. And that's the breed that he likes to work with. Me, I personally prefer a quarter horse. Um, but he taught me how to do my own farrier work, which is the, the shoeing the horse, uh, trimming their feet. Um, so I learned that from him, different different skills of cowboy that I learned from him. Um, Sergeant Major taught me how to keep them, uh, their body weight and keep them healthy. Cause like certain people, you'll get a horse, you see, the guy, he brushing it, brushing it, brushing it, and that's all he knows to do. Well, I had to learn how to not only to brush it and clean it, I learned how to care for it. So that means you have to keep it with fresh water, keep the, the, the water barrels cleaned out, uh, keep them with their coggins and all their shots, because they just like the dogs. They have to have their shots once a year. And if you want to go anywhere with your horse, you have to have a Coggins report saying that it's healthy. So when you see a guy uh, traveling with the horse trailer and the horse is on back of it, most of the time they should have their Coggins report. Me, me being a black man, I got my Coggins report with me because if they stop you and they check your animal and find that you don't have a Coggins report, they can impound your horse. Um, and you done spent all this money on this horse that you love so much, but just that one little thing can get it taken away. Just, just like um, if you don't have enough grass for it to eat. That's why I was telling you about the pens earlier. So I keep maybe two and a half acre in each pen, and I probably put maybe two to three horses in each section. So that way the grass and the land can maintain them. Cause if not, you put, if I put all of my horses in one pen by three or four months or maybe a uh, half a year, all of it be black and dirt like that sand that there behind you and nothing growing. Cause you can see it's, it's November. I still got grass growing. A lot of places don't have the grass. So you have to have a certain amount of grass and land to maintain them. And all these, this stuff I had to learn. Somebody taught me every little bit of it. And like I said before, I, I try to share it. That's all I want to do is share it. I give it to the knowledge that I have to anybody that wants to learn it. And then I'm specifically targeting black youth I have uh, children that come out here that don't talk at all, no speech whatsoever. But when they come out here and they're interacting with a horse, they're able to do things that I couldn't get the horse to do. And uh, so we also have special, special needs trained horses specifically for those. Those are those two in the box, that gray and that and that uh, big bay that's over there. I had... Uh, a guy train those horses so that kids that have problems communicating have, uh, what is the name of that? Uh, autism. Autism, autistic kids, deaf kids. Um, when they, the kid that just shouts and makes, makes uh, Tourette's, I think that's the name of it. So these horses are actually able to work with those kids and not move, uh, allow them to do anything they want. They go up under that horse and pull his tail, uh, pull his, his uh, tit or kick it or whatever they get in, the, in, in in their mind to do and the horse will stand there and take it. Then uh, the horse can sense like if the cow is having different problems, it, it'll trying to kind of like cuddle with it, especially that, that white horse. Because a um, little girl that comes out here, her mom brings out here to ride every other Sunday and stuff to just, just to have her outlet. Now, 
she may smile at me. She say may may say Mr. Mosley every blue moon. But again, her and Cinnamon get together and I turn them loose out here. I put the cones out, put the barrels up for her and lock the gate and me and her stand here and ride. And it's got so far, cause she's been doing it with me now almost a year and a half for a child that has this ability. She's able to go out with me and me and her ride up the road and back on two separate horses. And I don't have to worry, is she safe? Is she okay? Cause the horse is taken care of. Me. So that's what I'm trying to do. Man, that's, that's, that's what I think makes me want to stay out here and do all this stuff with these horses. Cause this is a lot of work. Um, and, it, and you know, it's not easy, but it keeps me sane, keeps me grounded. And I'm glad to be a cowboy. So um, even though that word started negative, it had ended very well positive with me, but that's cowboy.